Welcome to WRL Broadcast. I am Hate Mail. With me today, we have Loot. Hey, guys. Kage. Hello. And special guest, Hawkeye. Howdy, howdy. So before we get into the Hawkman review, which I did release our Before the Sale patron-only episode just to have something out there this morning. I meant to do it last night. But we'll do the full review now that we've had a chance to play with them. But before we get into that, let's get a little bit of history on Hawkeye. Hawkeye, tell us about when you first started playing and um, obviously who your favorite character is. I have a wild guess on that one. but uh, um, Yeah, my favorite character, uh, pretty obvious. Hawkman! Um, I'm the guy that's been screaming about him for three years now. I uh, <laughs> wanted to get him in the game. Uh, I've been playing pretty much since launch. Took a break here and there. But uh been there since, I think, the Robin event. So, like, that's pretty much day one almost. Uh, spent a lot of time in different alliances. Finally hooked up with the Owls not too long ago. And uh, that's about it for me. All right. Well, I have to say, I am, I liked Hawkeye, or Hawk, yeah. Hawkman! When I was first started playing with him, during the, uh, when he released, if you saw my other video, and then since I've been using him more and more, I actually like him more and more. In fact, I like him so much that I end up buying enough packs to be able to rebirth him once. Uh, Kage, what are your, how are you? Oh, you, boy! Yeah, That's are you? huge! <laughs> yeah, it's been a while oh. since I've wailed on anything. Be- I before know. This is before huge. we move on, I just remember I want to make a comment that a we probably forgot someone, but that's fine. Is that Lord Mullen? Because he, yeah, I know. I was gonna, and then it, we threw this together like in the last yeah. hour. So. Is he a huge Hawkman <laughs> fan? Oh yeah. So Lord Mullen, uh, we will have you on later in the month about Hawkman. And then the other thing was. Um, yeah, I remember competing on the Wraith leaderboards. I was screaming for Artemis, and I remember, I remember on the Wraith leaderboards, I changed my name to like uh, Give Us Artemis, and I saw Hawkeye or Hawkeye, yeah, says so like Give Us Hawkman, and so I think we were having a shouting match of which uh, characters we wanted on the Wraith leaderboards. I guess, uh, I guess, uh, Hawkman was more important. <laughs> I guess. Uh. Have you played with Hawkman yet, Kage? <laughs> Yeah, um, I think right now, because I'm not a super whale, like the other people in this group, um, I only have L1, but I think he's a solid character. Let's go with you, Luke. Uh, how, what's your initial thoughts before we get let Hot Guy go go ham on him? Okay, Later. so it, I'll give you my brief initial thoughts. I like using him. He's fun. He's got a great basic. Um, I'll leave the rest for the review. And Okay, your thoughts on Hawkman as a character in the game? Are you pleased with him? Disappointed with him? Um, I'm I'm pretty pleased with him. Like when I first saw the kid on paper, it was one of those ones where you see it and you're like, I do not know how well that's going to work. But uh, once you start seeing it in practice, it makes a lot more sense. And uh, Wonder Girl is not as much of a threat as you initially would think for him. That was what's impressed me the most is that he can take he can take some hits. I mean, like there'll be times where all Hawk Girl will be taken to a sliver of life, and then Hawk Man's just like, yeah, yeah, it wasn't wasn't a big deal. I think he reacts a little bit differently um, to strength based versus intellect based. Seems like he he holds up okay to strength based characters. Yeah, yeah. To it's intellect Black based Adam. characters, okay. he just forget about it. I mean, you can look at him. And he'll die. I, I don't. I don't think he's that bad. Like he can take more of a hit than some of the other green characters. To I mean, he he definitely takes a beating to intellect based characters uh, compared to yeah, it might strength, have just but been a little bit too a little bit too extreme with that comment. But yeah, he yeah, still holds I mean, up okay, he, just not great. He, he definitely reacts poorly to intellect, really well to strength. Uh, yeah, I mean, if Black Adam gets him before he gets anything built up, any shields, it, it's going to be a quick fight. Um, but, I mean, I've seen mine take a double tap from Arcus, and it barely moves his HP. Now, are yours, are you, what what rank are your, is your Hawkman at now? 
He is currently rebirth two, waiting on some crystals. And you can take him. To, you're going to take him to five. You yeah, he's going to go to five probably at the beginning <laughs> of next siege. Now, wait, 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 wait. A, how, hell yeah! Such a right bad uh, influence on people. <laughs> how much did you? If you if you want to share, how many packs did you buy? Well, I I, I follow the the boys method method, and uh, I I spent a lot of the gems that I got. I think I ended up at eight packs this month. Okay. Um, which really hurt. And by then that. you reinvested the eight packs into the fragments. Yeah, between that and the uh, thirty thousand from raids. Um, right now I'm sitting at, sitting at three point one. Uh, or 3,100 shards of them. Got to get them up uh-huh. to 40, 30 to finish them off, which I should uh-huh. get from the rest of the events. Question is, Kaga, I'm just if, if Artemis ever comes, are you going to pull a the boy? Uh, you know, <laughs> I did just get a, I did just get a new job, so that extra income. I think you might should start saving now. Yeah, and maybe yeah. by the time Artemis comes out, you'll have that nest egg saved for her. I'm gonna tell WB, hey, 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 delay that, delay that hoe. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. hey, let, it, let's just say it takes eight months for her to come out. Just put a hundred dollars aside yeah, every month. Yeah. Exactly. You know, but, and then in eight months, you can afford it. But you know, I will ask, and may if they, if she comes out, let's say next month, I'll say, hey, we, hey. Your boy, a lifeline here. <laughs> See, yeah, that's what they're gonna do now. They're gonna really. Do next it's like, hey, loot. Can I give you guys the payment plan? <laughs> well, well right now they got. So we can have a payment plan. <laughs> right now they got the uh, the owls on on retainer. Basically, the boy went RB five in January, mostly costly. Yeah, wedding. he's bonkers. RB five in February, and now I'm gonna do it in March. So. Don't know which one of the house is going to do it in April, but we'll have to see who the characters are. Yeah, well, they're running uh, out of not like signature me. tunes coming out. <laughs> Come on, Luke. Dude, I finally finished Kaga. You've no idea how hard that was. And for those Carby who are wondering who Kaga, Kaga is, it's Castaway Green. Oh Arrow. my <laughs> god, that was the hardest grind I've ever done in any game for <laughs> anything. It took me forever. Yeah, now they kill her Frost as a PvP pack. I mean, she's she's uh she's gonna be my trying to get her to. RP5. Oh, and by the way, because I probably spent two hundred thousand PvP essence in the last two weeks, that Killer Frost drops a lot. She hasn't for me, but I, I it's unlimited sample size because of course I didn't ever think she was gonna become a PvP character, and I like Hawk Girl a lot. From her rework, so I burned all my energy once I decided I really liked her to try to get her packs over a hundred thousand. Yeah, it probably took me somewhere, and, and this is no exaggeration. Probably took me somewhere between one and two million PVP essence to get Castaway Green Arrow. Wow. I have never ever bought a Castaway Green Arrow pack. Every single one of my frags came from. Rave. Well, he never has pack sales. So, it, you know what? They did it two years ago. They sold him two years ago. Wow. It's been that long, but it took me somewhere between one and two million. Um, it took you three years to get re Yeah, five. it took me three years. So we are super off topic. So let's uh, <laughs> go back to <laughs> Hawkman. Anyways, Hawkman. Yes. <clears throat> what kind of teams are you running with him, Hawkeye? Who do you like? Right now, the favorite one I found is uh, St. Walker Lead, Black Mask, Hawk Girl, and Hawkman. 2D? Um, or was that your team that 2D ripped off? I, 2D ripped me off. I, I've, I've, been, <laughs> I, I've been getting that team ready ever since I saw the uh, kit release. Yeah, That man been stealing ideas. <laughs> uh, I mean, you get just crazy call assists on there, which starts Hawk Girl going on uh, stuns, which then is going to... Build up Hawkman's shields. Uh, Black Mask also likes their round strength downs, which is going to make Hawkman pop more. Um, plus, you know, you, you, you can't pass up that stat boost from St. Walker. So on, um, I had noticed a few people mentioning to me that 
Emerald Archer Green Arrow lead is great with him, which I had tested a few times, and I do have to agree. Emerald Archer Green Arrow, EAGA, whatever you want to call them, Hawkman and Hawk Girl on a team, they all have AoEs, they all do the strength downs. I find that to be an extremely good team. And EAG is such a good character. I haven't heard about that. Like, I didn't hear any of the chatter about Ega. I'll say it, Ega. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds funny, Ega. So um, that's how I, I read it when any I of that. But I was having a conversation with M4 this morning, and we were talking about what characters could we pair with him to make him better. And Ego was one of them. Now, I've, I've been looking for a blue that kind of complements Ego and Hawkman. I like I Shazam, found it. actually, as a... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah he has yeah, so which many is... strength downs. So does... um, mm -hmm. If you're running the shield... Like, if you're running Saint Walker, I do like Alan Scott, too. Yeah. A lot. Oh, right. Alan Scott he's, got those, he's got the strength downs, too. Yeah. And he can do the passive strength downs, too. So, you know, he doesn't really need to use his three that much. Yeah. <laughs> I was messing with, at one point, I was just running, uh, I think, St. Walker, Alan Scott, Penguin, and Hawkman. And that worked surprisingly well. I'm really uh, surprised how plug-and-play uh, Hawkman is. Well, it's not, he's plug-and-play kind of, but I'd say he he's got one a lot other of synergies. Person. He doesn't need a yeah. lot of people. But I feel like he needs one other person. But the yeah. thing that I was surprised I about that makes him better than I would have expected is that on his basic that applies three, three strength downs, that happens in conjunction with applying the stun if they have four. So you only need one strength down on an opponent to get the stun with his basic. So if there's one strength I down to use the basic, that. they will stun. That's great. And for Legendary Order, that's why I think that should be his first ability. I used to think it should be three, but his basic is so good because it only needs to one strength down. Do you agree with that, Hawkeye? Yeah, I, I mean, I think at minimum you need to get him to L3, and one, three, and five are, are what you have to have for him to really yeah. unlock his kit. Yeah, I, I curve fully with that. Actually, you know, I'm going to update on my Legendary Order, the... Um, L3 is his sweet spot. I mean, really, it's 135, I think. You know, the one permanent strength up is a lot of, a lot of help. Because um, they do fall off pretty quickly sometimes. Um, especially if you get to a, a point where Hawk Girl's just throwing around stuns. Um, that's one thing I wanted to point out, too, is I like running them with Hawk Girl because Hawk Girl can kind of protect them a little bit from the intellect based characters. She can get an early stun in on a Black Adam. Um, you're really able to kind of beat him down before he turns into a threat and is able to take you out. Um, another team I've been playing around with a little bit is a, a character that nobody really uses anymore that is in desperate need of a rework, but she actually works pretty well in conjunction with Hawkman, is a, a Cheetah. Yeah, she, it's funny. I, messed, I was actually messing with her a little bit with him, too. She, you know, she gives him a, a boost on his speed. He's not the fastest character in the world, so he, plus he gets strength ups. Um, I've really been running Hawkman, Hawk Girl, uh, Cheetah lead with uh, Black Manta. Because once you start getting some bleeds out there, they're constantly getting more speed. Um, <clears throat> which it, the the thing about them is, if you can get them running in conjunction, Hawkman and Hawk Girl, it kind of turns into just a bloodbath. The other team doesn't really get a chance to go. Now, is Cheetah's leadership fixed? It, it's kind of hard to tell. I know um, it's only 10%, but do you actually see it procking? Because I, had, I hadn't seen it procked in forever. But I, I haven't I, tested her as a leader in forever. So. Like, like I said, you know, it's a, I, I, you don't really see it because Hawkgirl starts throwing around the stuns, so... The turn meter kind of loses its appeal there a little bit, but um, the uh, with the you get the three strengths up and you apply one extra strength up if an enemy is dead. So at, with the blood in the air, so as that gets going, you're, you're just constantly getting more strength uh, strength up, which helps Hawkman just kill things so much faster. 
He doesn't do bad damage once he ramps up. Like, his damage becomes pretty respectable. And he doesn't take a ton of time to get ramped up either. I'm, I am I have to say, I'm having fun with him. Lou, I know you're normally not a big fan of certain control-based characters, but have you... No, I, I, I got to tell you, I, I have new lease on life for this for the stun teams. I yeah. love them now. They're, really? they're good. It, I think they're my favorite type of comp right now is the control team. I don't know why I, that changed for me. I think it's just because it's something different than just Black Adam it's Annihilation. Cool. But um, I'm having a lot of fun with the stuns. I The only thing that I would say about Hawkman is he really needs a teammate to help him. Yeah. So he's one of those characters that if you give him an enabler, he is fantastic. If you don't give him an enabler, he doesn't really do very much. Yeah, that's fair. But his basic hits way better than I thought it would. So that's a huge plus. Um, so if he's call assisted, that basic really, really does some good work. I was impressed. So, I, I think he's awesome. I don't know what category we would put him in in terms of rating because of our new category system yeah, that we have not unveiled we're going yet. To be releasing an episode next week discussing some massive changes to our tier list, how we're going to categorize characters. So we'll we'll have an old episode just hashing out the details of how we're going to do it, and then we'll discuss who goes where either in that episode or maybe the week after we're going to break it up a little bit just to keep it from being unbearably long i think it'd be a little more people because there's just so much conjecture between a b and c that we need to retool things so it's going to be a little bit more user friendly it's going yeah. to it's going to shake things up a lot yeah people make a lot of do, big deal between like you know letter but I guess, I guess uh, the new rating will really help. Yeah, with, I think uh, it will help. Meta. Yeah. No more letters. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spoiler. Yeah. No more letters. We're done. So it's been a lot uh, of good suggestions by a lot of people. One thing I want to point out about Hawkman too is one thing you definitely don't want to pair him with, or one character in particular, is not a Troy. Um, yeah. AC still on his strength ups. Um, and turning him into awareness. And then the other thing is it uh, keeps his four from triggering because instead of doing damage, he's getting awareness pulled off. So he doesn't have a chance to build up his shields. So 135... Yeah, it's, it's, a rare, it's a rare thing for, for pairing somebody. Don't pair her. Don't pair him with Donna Troy. There's a couple it's characters always like, like that. Like, I don't yeah, like, no, you're right. I don't like... Uh, what's her name? The, the new... Cassandra Cain. Cassie. Yeah, I don't like her with Donna Troy either. I don't either. The, the positive is that you can use her three a lot with her, but then she loses all her awareness, or her evasions, I mean. So what would you recommend right. Hawkeye between two and four as the next? So um, I, I liked I, two initially, but I've heard a lot of arguments for four. I, I find two a lot more useful. Um, it, it, it keeps him from getting uh, buff immunity put on him by Lex, having that debuff immunity because he has to remove it first. Yeah. Um, and, and if you get debuff immunity, or, or if you get buff immunity on Hawk, Hawkman, it's it's kind of game over for him. He's got to be able to build up their strength ups to really be at his pinnacle. The one thing I will say though that. I've heard some arguments for taking his four over his two is just for this siege because Hawk Girl's there. And if you haven't gotten to take a turn yet and he gets stunned, it just purges it off him. <clears throat> but that would just be for the siege. Yeah, I, I mean, if you're just building him up to use during siege, I could definitely see four being more useful. Um, I think two will be more useful in the long run. Uh, 
Um, I think he's a character a lot of people, once they get playing with him, they'll, they'll see that you really want to take him to L5, get everything. Um, all, all of his legendaries, there's not any lame ducks, or lame hawks, I guess, in this case. Um, <laughs> he, and he, he, he's just a really solidly built character, you know. Um, if you're looking for a slow gear, I don't think it's him. Uh, uh, neither character this month seems like. They're going to be a slow gear. Aqua Lad seems like he's going to be pretty good too. Did you did you take Aqua Lad to L one? I can't remember. No, I haven't yet. Oh, okay. um, so that was uh, Mr. Zubaz. Yeah, Zubaz and the boy, I think too. Yeah, they're both really influenced by owls now. <laughs> spin, spin, spin. <laughs> and the 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 original heavy crazy people, me, loot, and Bolzy were uh, slowed down a little. No, I was bad this month, so I guess I can't say that. Now so that my roster budget. is done, <laughs> I can slow down even more. I think, but yeah. I don't. I'm not going to, but I could if I need to or want to. You got nothing better to do while you're quarantined right now. That's right. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I don't got nothing else on that. Anybody else? I, I got, I, I got one more beef. I got to say, the, my 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 biggest problem with Hawk, Hawkman this month is why do you have to be green? Oh yes, if he was red, he would fit into my stun team perfectly. But you just uh, described what we were our, what we were talking about in our podcast channel for for like two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Or more. I don't know. We were. We were. Why did he have to be green? Yeah. Just. I guess some guy was like, "Hey, he has wings, so he should be green." Like, what the heck? It seems like they like they do the same thing for both stuns and speed down characters. Speed down characters. There are a couple more of them now, but they just they seem to like pick a niche for a certain affinity, and then they just pile all the characters into that one. Seriously, what the heck? I mean, that's why I'm so high well, on Catwoman. I like her a lot, but she's, you know, I, there could be a better stunning character for a physical. Or I'd like to just be able to mix match. Yeah. And I, just, I honestly don't want to run the Hawks together because it's two greens. And what if I want to use them with Lex? Then it's three greens. Or Hal Jordan. Okay, another three greens. Well, I'm... I know it's funny because, like, Joker's always anti-physical characters, but he doesn't... It's mainly because all the there's so many physical villains. But when you look at just the sheer number of really good characters, it seems like greens dominate. Like, there's so many green characters I want to use for everything. And there's a, there's a handful of physical characters. I mean, there's all the physical characters seem to be... Uh, so many of them are around evasion. I don't care, a, I don't care less about evasion. I know, I hate that. So I want to see more yeah. physical characters that do something other than bleeds and evasion. Me too. I agree. Yeah, that's it's really annoying that, like you said, they just pigeonhole these um, affinities with all these. They characters. need to break that mold. It'll yeah. make the game so much more interesting. Yeah, I mean, because if you want to build a Kryptonian team that kind of takes advantage of, you know, Sans, all energy. Uh, they're all energy other than Connor. You know, and, and all these characters you can build different teams with, you know. if I mean, Hawk, Hawkman, he could have been mystical. I mean, if you look at his lore, you know, yeah, he's got a reincarnation angle that, that he, he, could have been, he could have been any of the affinities. But uh, for some reason green. they go, if it's an alien, then it's got to be green. What do you guys um, think of, yeah, I remember they did this on Ion where they had, you could get basically any affinity of any character. But you could only put one of each one, so you couldn't put two Hawkman on a team. But right, if there was a to way choose. to get additional affinities, I would be all for it. My question would be: Do you have to get a brand new version of that character? Would you have to essentially buy the other affinity as well? I, I guess would I would be okay with that if it's it based. Add if more. it's like how other games do it. You're going to have to gear, level, and everything for that character. But it would be a new... Um, it's a, <laughs> it's a new grind. I like it. It's a new grind. I, I wouldn't have Bring to worry about up and away anymore. 
<laughs> That's right. I'm sure a ton of people would hate it, but then again, I don't know. I, 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 I'm actually for it, personally. I would love to see or even a new Affinity come out as well. Maybe two more. Light yeah. and dark, maybe? I would love that. I mean, come on, we can do it. <laughs> I'm pretty much on board for anything new right now. Give us your 12, level 100. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. I, I actually <laughs> like the idea of the mix and match affinity. I, I'd be so for that. The more I think about it. Me too. Just give me something new to grind. Physical what if they wonder. gave like a blue? What if they gave like a <laughs> blue castaway? That'd be awesome. You can grind all over again. And then we have to take the, <laughs> the, the other affinity to RB5, too. Gosh, that would be kind of So, hard. wait. So, if you think about Ion, one of the things that Ion did was the other colors didn't have identical powers. Yeah, they would have So, like there one were off. nuances. There were small changes that made them work better in different affinities. Well, and then on that note, like, there would be... A, like they could do that easily by just having a legendary upgrade be slightly different. Exactly. Because usually that's what it was. It was just one power that was. It slightly was different. right, and it and it, but it made a big difference. That'd be so fun. I, I don't. I'm I'm on board with them doing literally anything just to do something different and new. Yeah, I'm all for it. Give us additional affinities. Give us. So, tweaked powers based on that affinity. So if it's mystical, something maybe more mystical. If it's physical, change it to something a little bit more physical-minded. I mean, to be fair, they are actually kind of doing something similar to that. You know, you got Eclipso that's kind of a blue Harley. You got yeah. Black Mask that's kind of a red Constantine. Oh, no, you're right. We mean the, the same character slightly modified i mean it would be easy for them like if they want something that requires minimal coding and to add to the game that's the way to do it you're just rehashing old content changing the affinity well we, they, they've already established that they don't want to rehash all content because otherwise you know we'd have additional chapters <laughs> oh you mean the whole copy paste <laughs> just raise the level of difficulty exactly. how easy is that you know what they could do what i was thinking about instead of chapters 10 or or 9 and 10 so you know we have normal right we have heroic give us legendary or mythic or whatever you want to call it yeah yeah you can just literally take the exact exact one through eight give it a new name of heroic or not heroic mythical legendary whatever they want to call it raise the level of difficulty change the characters that you can grind for and up the gear and then boom they have they literally have to do nothing i think based on what i see just in the community you have a, a decent chunk of veterans that have been around a long time which is kind of the top 10 alliances roughly and then you have everyone else who's relatively new so i think it's just it's too difficult for them to consider doing the next gear level because all the new people are just the mountain would be even taller that they couldn't climb but i don't understand the non-progressive part of the game i mean you could just make it easier to gear characters to gear 11 and then gear 12 is significantly more challenging yeah i mean if you look at they the game, do like... that in other games right where it's almost like a like a start boost you know like where it boosts you up to like a current level and then the grind then goes from there yeah i mean i mean dc universe online is a game i used to play and it, it's ran a really long time like dc dc legends is getting up there in age and they introduced a system where you know you get a character starts where you start a new character and they give you a badge that takes your character up to the yes. max level and gives you a starting gear set that gets you to where you can do beginning level level end game stuff to where you don't have to grind out all the way to the end game. You can start at the bottom tier of the end game and work your way up from there. That's that's actually a very common feature now in in a lot of the 
MMORPG games. Mm -hmm. So I think that's genius. I love that idea. I concur. All right, guys. Well, I think that wraps it up. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So stay tuned. See you all next week. See ya. See ya later. Hawkman! Hi, this is Renee Sylvia 88, DC Legends moderator. Thank you for listening to this episode of WROL Broadcast. If you like the show, please check out patreon.com forward slash WROL Broadcast and find out how to get cool perks. I've always wondered, is Kage the type of Asian who is good at math? Or is he the type that puts used eBay parts on a Civic and jams out to drink?